field have broken four minutes this year. Eight women globally have broken four minutes in 2019. So there's plenty of ability out there. Through the bell then, Laura Muir from Kip on the Olympic champion, the Kenyan making her first outdoor run out of the year. Hill in third place, Segai the consistent Ethiopian in fourth. And then uh, Winnie Nanyomno in that yellow vest in fifth place. But Muir under some pressure, Kip Yegon looks very smooth on her shoulder as she's just biding her time. She has superb speed endurance. These three just beginning to get away, although Nanyondo with the yellow hanging on to their coattails with 200 to run. Segai looks threatening as well. She's in their slipstream. It's Laura Muir around the crown of the bend, tries to shake off the uh, daunting figure of Winnie Nanyondo. Back in fourth place, but it's Kimiegon it is in second place. Coming through strongly is Hulehan. That 5,000 meter runner straight from the American is easing her past Segar. Is she going to get Laura Muir as Kim Yegon kicks her way to victory, surely? It's going to be Kim Yegon Muir and Hulehan for the USA. 3.59.03. Hassan it is by half a meter. We're down to two now. Sado back in third place. Hassan, a little glance over her shoulder there just to see Kim Yegon, see if she can get some information. The body language of the Olympic champion who looks poised. Anything you can do, I can do. Look at this. It's almost contemptuous onto her shoulder. She runs the wide line. A meter or two extra around that bend on the shoulder of the Dutch athlete Hassan. Into the straight now. Hassan kicks for home, but has she got another gear there? The battle for the minor places as Laura Wakeman of Britain challenging for second place as Kip Yegon eases past, inch by inch. She's having to really work for this one. Claws her way to the line, punches the air, and the winning time, 3.57.07. Yegan has got the job of leading this field round. And we're just outside, what, 2 8 and, and, and 800 metres, so it's respectable. But uh, now look at this, it seems to me, with one lap to go, 258 going through the bell, uh, Kip Yegon is leading off with a vengeance. And she's taken with her a group of, what, six athletes. Helen Obiri trying to hang on to those four. A Kenyan leading it, then there's three Ethiopians, and a three metre gap to Obiri, who's struggling there. 313. And now they really are kicking down the back straight. Jenny Simpson absolutely nowhere here. Kip Yegon leading, Shadow behind her, then Sion, then Sigai. The two 19-year-olds just sitting ready, waiting to pounce. Kip Yegon though has just got a couple of metres lead. And it's Sigai who's always the quicker finisher of the Ethiopians who's trying to get up to her. But the Kenyan has got five metres now and is kicking away hard. This is really impressive from Kip Yegon. 100 metres to go. And she is easily moving away from this field. They cannot touch her over the last 200 metres. Excellent sprinting here from Kim Yegon. But huge amount of distance between herself and the others. Obiri coming through for second. 3.56.84. Three three quarter laps of the track as ever. Chanel Price, the lone pacemaker, so she's been asked to do everything by herself. It'll be interested to see whether Kip Yegon wants to take it on once the pacemaker drops out. And indeed, Kip Yegon has slotted in nicely straight behind Chanel Price, who's just letting them settle down. And uh, plenty of athletes here who this is their first big race of the season. Uh, Robri moving up quickly behind Sigai and Seon, the two young Ethiopian 19 year olds, Trenia Moza. The other experienced American just inside Shannon Road. Well,
Well, they've just eased down a little bit as they got into the uh, home straight here. But uh, absolutely spot on. Faith Kip Yegon, very, very powerful. The World Championship silver medalist from Beijing last year showed such terrific form in Shanghai to go to 3.56.82. I mean, it was a very dominant piece of running. And uh, the fact that she's latched on to the pacemaker indicates that she's in business today, or at least uh, is determined. And look how now, down the back straight, a little increase in pace, and all of a sudden, they spread well out. Yeah, they, they, they went off pretty hard, and Chanel Price maintaining that. A little bit quick through the first 400 metres for Price. She actually raced over 800 metres last night. Be interesting to see whether or not she's going to, how far she'll be able to go at this quick pace. Kip Yegon, Sigai, Seon, Shannon Robry, Trenye Moser. Uh, police is uh, right up there. Jenny Simpson a little bit further back, just letting them go off at this uh, better pace. And just a few gaps. Brenda Martinez going well here. So they're all just settling down after this uh, pretty quick pace being set by Chanel Price. Coming around this time with two laps to go. Yeah, it's good to see um, Shannon Robry of the United States tucking in what in fifth place at the moment. Uh, of course, four in the race with the pacemaker. And uh, this actually could develop. No one yet prepared to make the move. And I would think that uh, Kip Yegon, she has great finish speed, uh, will start to make a move soon. And all of a sudden, there's a little gap opening up ahead of uh, Shannon Robry. 2.7 or so, a much slower second lap there. And as you expect, that's what tends to happen in women's 1500 meter running. Chanel Price already looking behind to see if Kip Yegon is there, ready to take over. She is. And the two Ethiopians who chased her home, uh, with Helen Abiri, of course, who won the 5000 meters here yesterday. But in uh, Shanghai, Kip Yegon destroyed them on the last lap. Look at the gaps all the way back to Shannon Robry there. The others are starting to bunch behind Jenny Simpson moving up on her shoulder. Waveman moving up from Great Britain on the outside of that group as well. So these three out in front. The others are going to be just closing a little bit as they approach the bell. But Kip Yegon leading from Sigai and Sayon. Then a bit of a gap there. Jenny Simpson now moving past Shannon Robry. But these three have got a good 10 meter lead. Kip Yegon there to be shot at. Can these two 19-year-olds this time give us something to think about? With just 300 meters to go, the Kenyan Commonwealth champion, the woman who leads the world rankings this year, leading, and as ever, just uh, Sayom, the one who is the, always the one to challenge more. Sigai doing her best, but is gonna be perhaps chased down by others behind. They're gonna be finishing quickly. But Kip Yegon with 200 to go, has it between herself and Sion now. Another meter between the two of them. Uh, five meters back to the struggling now. Sigai, now look at this, Kip Yegon just picked it up again and looks behind and sees the gap going. And this is what she did in Shanghai. She's so strong in the last 100 meters. Kip Yegon kicks away. It's a good performance from the Kenyan. We're going to be watching the clock here, see what she ends up with. It's going to be quick again.